Hi Eva, my name's Christina. Terry spoke with Kasara earlier today, just a couple hours ago, on getting this video over with some things that we noticed on your website, as well as how to set your company above your competition when it comes to your online presence. So we're going to go over three things today, and all three of these things are things that you yourself as a company can do uh, that you wouldn't necessarily need anybody to do for you. These tips I, I give you are good enough to, to get you started. If this is something you have any questions on, you can absolutely reach out to me at 816-323-4100. And then all I really ask is if you wouldn't mind just giving me some feedback on the video if you found it helpful. I sent a lot of these out, and I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting anybody's time and that they're getting some value out of it. So jumping right into it, three things we're going to talk about are content, citations, and backlinks. With content, the average website needs 1,000 to 1,500 words in order to be optimized with Google. And you guys are actually sitting right there at that 1,500, so that's great. Um, the only thing that I noticed is I would definitely get some more keywords built into here. And what I mean by a keyword is identically what somebody would search for in order to find your services. So Sacramento Tree Service is one keyword example. And if you look here, 720 people a month are searching for this keyword. So that's 720 customers that you potentially miss out on by not being on the first page of Google. I mean, you might not get all 720 of them, but even if you got 10% of them for being on the front page, that's 72 customers that, that you could be getting just by being on the front page. So how do we get on the front page? Uh, the content, like I said, was, was the biggest thing. It's like say content is king. You have 1500 words, but start building in some of those keywords into, into, your, uh, into your content on your front page. And just to give you an idea, I went ahead and pulled up here the number one Tree Service Sacramento is the number one organically ranked one. And they also have 1,500 words, but you'll see right here, Tree Service Sacramento. This is a keyword. See how it's built into their content? So you definitely want to do that. That way Google knows exactly who they're pointing to. Um, that's the first step that you have to take. The next thing that I want to talk about are citations. So the next visible section anytime that you do a Google search for any kind of service is here at the map pack. A lot of people will use the map pack just because we have an instant gratification issue in the nation these days where uh, we don't want to go past, you know, up here people will pay for ads, then you got the organic section down here, but this has reviews so people can see what other people that are actually using your service or have used your service think about you guys. So a lot of people won't go past the map pack whenever they're looking for services. How you get ranked in the map pack, you don't have to be in the top 10 down here, but you can get ranked by having a Google My Business, which is completely free, and then go and get what's called citations. And what a citation is, is when you submit your information, your business name, address, and phone number into different directories like Thumbtack, Yellow Pages, Yelp, um, Home Advisor, their free listing, their Angie's List free listing. All of those are citations, and the more citations you have, um, the higher you're going to be ranked in the in the map pack. So all you have to do is I would just search Tree Services Sacramento and uh, make sure that you're finding this business and then go find out where are they getting listed for, um, which which places are they listed at, and then find those exact same ones and go get listed on those same citations. And eventually, once you get more citations than them, so like I would say get 80, 100, 120 citations, then you'll beat them out and then you'll stay at the top of the map pack without having to necessarily be in the organic section. So it's another great way to get business. And then the last thing that I want to talk about are backlinks. So we call this link juice, and basically the way it works is site A points to site B. Site A is the link juice that gives site B more authority in Google's eyes like a popularity contest. So generally speaking, the more sites you have pointing to your site, the more popular you're going to be, the higher ranked you're going to be organically, right? There's a little more to it than that with link juice, though. It's more effective if you have a relative site linking back to you. For example, a blog post about maybe how to tell when you need to trim your trees back. Um, that's going to bring you a lot more authority because it has to do with what your what services you guys offer than say a blog post about pizza because you guys don't sling pizzas for a living. So this site that I'm going to show you is called Arefs, A H R E F S dot com. This is about hundred dollars a month, a little bit more expensive, but it really does a good breakdown of what your website's doing for you. And it looks like you guys started adding backlinks. Um, you guys have 15 referring domains with 137 backlinks. Now the problem with this is is you want this number to be closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, it doesn't. It's not ever going to be right on 15-15, but if you only have 15 referring domains with 137 backlinks, that means you have a really spammy backlink coming in. Um, so like right here, this treecare.com doesn't have any power, but it's bringing 40 backlinks, so that's not bringing you any power. Um, it looks like that might be your old website, 
And that's fine that it's got the backlinks coming on, but because there's no power coming to that site, it's not giving you any power. So those 40 backlinks, you just pretend like they don't exist. They don't count. Um, a couple of these other ones, you can just see right here how much power they're bringing. And it's not bringing you a whole lot. Um, this is a citation. So you've got some citations built in here, but they just don't bring as much power as, say, you know, a blog blog comment or a blog post. So if you look at your competitors, the tree services, sacramento.org, see how they're closer to that one-to-one -one ratio, 56 referring domains with 71 backlinks. And the awesome thing about this site is that you can go in and click and see where they're getting listed. And these are definitely a lot more blogs and that has a lot more power. So you go get listed and see how they're pretty much just getting that one backlink because it really only one backlink is going to bring you the power. It's not going to be, you know, you got 40 backlinks from one place, but it's only going to send the power over just one time. So that one-to-one -one ratio is, is super important. And uh, just going after these big, big blog posting companies. So you can go in, click on this one and say, try to reach out to them and figure out what does it take to get a backlink from their site. Um, sometimes they charge, sometimes they're free. You just have to do just the research and then contacting people and figuring out what it takes. And then if it works for them, it'll work for you. So you go get listed in these places that this place is, then you're going to wind up at the top of the Google search as well. And then of course you want to beat them out. So if they've got 71 backlinks, you want 140 backlinks. It's just, I always double or triple whatever my competitors are doing. So in closing, we talked about content. Um, you're actually tied for content pretty much. Get some more keywords built in there. But if you, um, added more content, like if they have 1,500, go after 2,000 or 2,500 words. Um, citations, get listed in all those different directories. The more, the better. The higher you're going to be ranked on the map pack. And then backlinks, same thing. Go get the more, the better at the backlinks, but you just want to make sure that they are relevant to you. Like I wouldn't go try to find just some spammy backlink person that'll just get a bunch of backlinks added really quick because they're probably not going to be high quality and Google knows that, you know, they know that game. So... If you have any questions, again, call me at 816-323-4100. Again, if you wouldn't mind just giving me some feedback on the video. Thanks for watching.